stop. Not recording videos awake. Stop dreaming that you're recording videos and then waking up and realizing that you're dreaming. Or waking up and realizing that you were dreaming and then laying there and re-dreaming that you are recording videos. Uh, that said, This, this last one that I almost did not get up for and just do as soon as I woke up, um, I'm starting to regret messing with the cup. It's distracting. Right. Um, this is tough. This is tough. Don't lose it. Um, values. Um, the value value of, of thinking um, differently than others. The, uh, the ability for the brain to assign values to thoughts and um, three-dimensionally even even multi-dimensionally um, beyond beyond three dimensions four five um, nine uh, most don't understand nine but I can understand four dimensions of space and a dimension of time and I'm sure with enough time I can understand nine dimensions of space and a dimension of time but um, people that challenge other people, minds that challenge people are important. Um, I can't, it, it felt so get back there. Okay. First, I had the dream that I was recording just a perfect video. Everything that I wanted to say and do. People that recognize patterns. People that recognize people that know enough about a subject to understand patterns. And, and some of the patterns that I've kind of been picking up on lately. Like the, the dog. I can't remember its name. But, uh, Jimmy's dog. Um, Possibly nor at the Aplex, but really the dog, the, the dog attempting to get a lock on my hand or my arm um, and deflecting it for what must have been a half hour twice, just constant deflection, anticipation, counter reaction. A reaction um, encountering um, so people people can pick up patterns um, now there are mathematicians that can predict patterns a certain amount of time in the future um, gradually the predictions get fuzzier as the variables become more uncertain as the functions, as the formulas, as they they travel through time, as they uh, 
try to predict farther into the future the uh, each each variable that is uncertain becomes harder to to get correct because you only know if you were correct when uh, that point in the future becomes the present um, it, it might be really easy to do it for a second in advance even in the middle of a party to look around or the you know at any point especially when if people are just pretty much doing the same thing when when all eyes are are engaged in a certain um, a one, like one person talking or one television set or a stadium with one game being played it can be much easier to predict than if um, a thousand or ten thousand or a hundred thousand people are gathered together uh, with without a single focus in mind which uh, can be quite fun can be quite um, but but it can also be um, unpredictable or uh, difficult to predict probably not unpredictable um, but more difficult the further in time you go from from that point um, and and I had three dreams before actually getting my physical body out of bed. The first dream was that I was recording this video. Um, the second dream was that I realized um, that I just had a dream of a great idea, and I got up and re-explained. Um, and the third dream was that I'd realized that I had just had a dream where I had got up and then I had and it took it took that third dream to um, to then just just into the middle of the third dream before I had finished the video in that one I realized I'm not physically up yet I am not physically out out of bed I, I'm I'm still laying here don't waste this don't let this become another one of those types of dreams where you just wake up and think that was a really cool dream uh, very very good points made in that dream what's for breakfast or very you know and then move on and, and engage in real life and and let it go because the dreams they fade so quickly um, or they can um, so layers of prediction um, individuals few few minds comfortable with certain patterns uh, familiar with certain topics familiar um, more mathematicians we need more more people comfortable with uh, formulas algebraic formulas so when those people have um, those kinds of predictions they can understand I mean they can relate them mathematically or algebraically or um, using the correct the correct functions the correct formulas the correct uh, explanations degrees everything has a varying degree everything has a uh, coefficient Every variable has a coefficient, and every every variable. Every variable is a variable, but they also have. There is math associated with each one, and how each one interacts with each of the other ones, each of the other variables. That's all this is. I do want to understand this. I do want, I, you know, take, forget the mystery.
just figure this out. Um, predict as far in the future as you can. Taking enough. No. Some people are very comfortable with certain subjects. Where they can they can see patterns but some people try to predict um, years in advance <coughs> or decades or centuries or millennia or no limits some people you know I tr I tried to come up with formulas or, uh, or ways of thinking of the future where where the time is a variable to the extent that there there are no limits to it and uh, I guess based on heat death a uh, uh, Google um, maybe that limit which is a 100 decimal places but um, Would people want to work with such large numbers? Um, pl planning ahead. I, uh, people are still waking up. People are still waking up. And planning ahead is important. We all know that. have to we have to plan ahead even if it's just a day or a week or a month or a year or our lives but it does not end there we have children we, we plan a little for our children we cannot just leave everything up to them and just say Hey, once I'm dead, forget everything. We, as humans, cannot do that. At least some of us cannot. Some people cannot plan a day in advance. I don't like to make... I don't like to schedule my future. I never have, really. Um, as such, I... You know, I live so far in the future... I don't have to concern myself um, with the, the near future if I don't want to. But um, the formula, the graph, the image, the picture, the picture of of the future and um, different people's ability to predict it uh, for different subjects that it's important for multiple people in multiple subjects to sort of um, they have their formulas have to essentially work into the same the, the same pat pattern the same limit um, same range and and they do have to coincide if they are both to be true in the future um, so but that that doesn't mean that, that at any point that, that doesn't mean that at any point they they can't be different it's just at any point when when it is called upon people or whether the formulas are called upon to predict a certain point um, if they are both to work and be accepted at that point they both have to um, but other than that and, and I don't know if this is this is kind of like um it's a good this um quantum mechanics um un, not uncertain 
certainty principle. Um, like the uh, double slit experiment, the observer. The observer. Okay, the formulas, the formulas can become two different things, but they need to, you know, when a person looks at both of them, they need to be both in the same place at the same time. Like I say, that, do, that doesn't mean that they can't, they can't allow for um, individually to go in their own way. I don't know, this is hard to understand, but I don't, I don't know how, this is what I, I thought I had, I thought I had some kind of um, math for it, but maybe I was just fooling myself with, with that feeling of, aha, aha, I got it. Um, I don't, I don't, but I, if I did, I can't recall it now. Um, but being able, being able to give individual people who only have so much information in so many fields or, uh, you know, uh, math is the way that they need to communicate. And uh, their equations, their equations need to be able to communicate at a certain point in the future. They need to, to co coincide. They need to um, intersect at, at any point. If, if time is put in one and time is put in the other, the outcome, maybe uh, view it as a perspective on that point. And, and and I don't know how um, you know higher dimensions uh, came into play in this. Um, I could explain um, the fourth dimension of space um, and how that that form mathematically it works. Um, we we don't really understand well not, not we some some people can't imagine it that doesn't you know it's very easy to understand um it, it really is if, if you just think of a fourth dimension in a fourth dimensional object in a three-dimensional universe um and then you just keep going from there um i i haven't i haven't gotten past the fourth one but i, I imagine that it's possible based on i'm imagining the fourth one as a as an object that expands and grows and uh, out, of, out of nowhere seemingly out of nowhere <coughs> <coughs> but that would be a fourth dimensional object moving through a three dimensional universe um so, in these formulas that people have for predicting the future, uh, you know, one person, one person trying to predict the future is difficult. Even, even futurists, even futurists like uh, Michio Kaku, um, he's not bad, you know, and, uh, even him trying, if he's, if he is trying to be the head of, uh, of a lot of predictions, yeah, like the, like the uh, capstone on a pyramid of, of all the future predictions in all the fields below him, um, medicine, transportation, communication, um, health say medicine, um, but yeah, just, um, every, everything of the future, which, uh, it, there's a lot to take into account, um, the way that people learn in the future, um, the values that people hold in the future, what the majority values most, uh, and it's difficult, I understand, to ask people, you know, rate your values, um, what is the value? And a lot of people, um, 
avoid that where they can't just say you know okay uh, compared to everything else uh, give me you know out of 100 percent what percent is um, this toothpick valuable or what percent is tobacco in general value as far as all chemicals that you take in um, how valuable is that compared to all other chemicals or you know if, if you ask somebody you, you you might ask somebody what is their favorite food whereas instead I, I would feel to ask them you know what what is what food is the most is the highest percent you know out of all the foods that you've ever tried um, <coughs> uh, what percent if that's a hundred percent what percent um, of enjoyment uh, what had the largest amount of enjoyment what got the largest percent that's that's what I would rather ask instead of just saying what's your favorite what do you you know what do you like but if, if people could communicate more comfortably like that um, through through prioritizing through um, giving values over time um, and you could you could take it back as far as far as you wanted to back in your past I'm 33 right now I could take it back to when I was 13 and deal with 20 years or take it back to when I was 3 and deal with 30 years although I, I don't I don't recall off the top of my head anything that happened to me when I was 3 um, although if, if people tell me about it I tend to have sort of uh, flashbacks but that's also them um, planting information in my head that I could not recall myself so um, no off the top of my head I can't remember anything um, prior to preschool prior to before so values through time growing shrinking you know they don't just grow they do shrink um, some things are bogged down by other things and that is important to keep in mind um, if I just sat here and said president 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 Eventually, all of that, all of this video, you know, would be, if I just said it long enough, um, would be, a waste of time, but, you know, I don't know, depends on your definition of president when you watch this. There's still something. There's still 20 or 25 percent of the first dream. You know, there's there's probably more. There's probably more like 40 or 50 percent of the first dream that I'm missing. Some very important aspects. But at least the second dream is coming true about me waking up and making a video about that as much as possible. Um, and I hope I've captured as much of it so that I can look at this again. Um, if I have a similar dream and work from that. I, I, I miss something. I miss some relationship. The relationship, it's, it's mostly for the individual. It doesn't have to be for people to... Um, to say this is this is one person's predictions for the future, and I I mean real solid predictions, not not some not some uh, I don't know how to put it wild assertions, um, random 
um, just nonsense and, and nothing nothing apocalyptic or any kind of goofy <coughs> things. I mean, sometimes there are reasons to panic. Most of the time, um, there is a reason to celebrate and a reason to be happy. And, and uh, there's things to look forward to. Good things to look forward to. And uh, being able to um, or just not, not good or bad, just, just things. Um, I, in, in trying to relate them to other people, I try to say that they are maybe good or bad, but they are just what they are. Um, things just happen. They don't have to be good or bad. Um, to each of us, they may be good or bad, more good than bad, or, or more bad than good, but they just happen. And, uh, uh, one of my concerns was the, uh, the shape, the, like a, f a flower kind of, the shape of the predictions of the people. Uh, I, I imagine there's seven billion people on this planet right now and if you asked everybody if you could put all factors um, in 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 dimensions and and you really could could do it like spokes of a wheel if uh, one thing contradicted the other um, and it wouldn't even have to be in two dimensions it could simply be in in three dimensions or probably in multiple dimensions beyond that uh, mathematically maybe not uh, physically but to simplify it let's go back down to two dimensions a sheet of paper okay and take two people now one person they all everyone starts in the present and this present is true this is happening okay but our predictions for the future may veer off in one direction like one person's predictions for the futures may may go in the other in one direction and another's prediction person's prediction for the future may go off in another direction but um when when truth may take a a sort of path in between with slight deviations to the left or to the right now imagine that in three dimensions three dimensions but still instead of starting from the bottom and then going up and out in like that like a, a flower imagine it from a central point the center of either a, a, a sphere a sphere with a sort of a coordinate system in it that comes out based on the radius where the radius at any point is time in the future. It could be one second, two seconds, you know, three seconds from the central point, and anywhere out from there is three seconds out. And uh, and just an, an infinite number of possible futures. But if you take them all, and average them out um, chances are very good chances are very good that they will be um, right right alongside as close to the, the actual outcome of the future um, the more variables that you take in the more people the more observers the more predictors that you take into account 
um, the better your chance of predicting what will really happen. So, um, I'm sure this, this could also be like a, a computer could run simulations for the future. And I've heard that there are supercomputers for weather. Um, <coughs> they've used supercomputers to predict the outcome of uh, fusion reactions and uh, tried to contain them. They've predicted, um, they've used supercomputers to predict um, based on where all the planets are and everything and what we've observed in the solar system going back in time, how long it's taken for this um, solar system to form and what, what happened um, at, at various stages in the past based on the motion of the asteroids and planets and the activity of the sun and the activity on each of the planets and the conditions on each of the planets. Um, they've run models backwards and, and can see based on where things are now where things would have been then. And we have most of the large factors which are the, the planets and the sun and uh, you know some of the larger asteroids or the if you treat um, most of the asteroids as a as a, um, a collection of slightly altering you know alternating variables and or even the comets and uh, the the Oort cloud or the uh, Kuiper belt, um, you know, but the uh, the biggest factor um, could be could be the sun and the uh, patterns of that and the gravity of the sun and then uh, Jupiter uh, would be the next next one. How did that affect the outcome? And then Saturn. For, for us, you know, um, the planets, for us, Earth, the uh, planets of Venus and Mars would have had a big impact. Uh, what, they, what they took that we could have got, what was on the border of you're going to Earth and you're going to Venus, or you're going to Earth and you're going to Mars. Or, or what went to the moon, the, the first body that uh, quite possibly struck us 4.5 uh, billion years ago. Or so, 4 to 4.5 billion years ago. <sighs> so, a lot of factors take into account. People... Um, people are pretty good at predicting things. You've driven, for those of you who have driven vehicles on roads before, you need to understand the, the rules of the road, so to speak, in order to anticipate the actions of the drivers of the vehicles. Um, occasionally, people um, don't follow the driving rules that you all agree on and uh, maybe they cross over the center lane or or when they turn they didn't signal or um, you know it could be both of you both of you um, you you saw them you know you saw the warning and you didn't slow down and they <coughs> they turned thinking that you had slowed down and and you hit their rear end I don't know um, accidents accidents happen are just things that were not predicted. You know, not properly planned for. So, the, the important thing about this was the, um, somehow, multiple dimensions it's not just a, a circle, you know, with seven billion lines coming from the origin out towards the, the surface of the sphere that, you know, varies, or the radius varies by time. Um, you know, yeah, a lot of people are probably all thinking in the same direction. A couple people thinking in the opposite direction. 
there are people who are thinking moon's falling. You know, the moon is falling down. One of these days, gravity is just going to stop working. Well, no, it will stop working. Maybe gravity will overload and the moon will be pulled in and crash into the earth. Or, um, whatever. Um, they think that nuclear winter is in three weeks. Um, that the, the earth will be uninhabitable the surface of the earth or something. Um, <coughs> and those, to those people, those predictions are a sort of reality. Um, but some of them are a little off from the rest of us. Um, and, and things like television guide people a lot. Not guide, but they constr constrict. Um, they limit, they sort of, um, herd, I don't like herd so much, but they, um, direct people. They kind of say, you know, go in that direction. Not, not up, not down, not right, not for, not, you know, that way from the center, from the center. Um, you know, not, to uh, don't. Don't, don't go in that direction. That you know, anywhere from the radius, except for kind of in this general area. If you, if you deviate a little to the left or right, you know, as long as you're going towards that, you know, area, that um, if you think of the surface of a sphere, you know, somewhere over here, not not up here, not over here, not down here, and certainly not back this way. Because if you're coming out from the center, you knew, <laughs> and don't try to veer back that way, or, you, you know, a lot of people have a lot of money invested in the future being this way. Um, those people are not happy with the people who are trying to say, you don't know, no, let's go, you know, down here, or let's go over here, or up here, and, and get out of that, that area. Um, that, that amount of surface area of the of the surface of the sphere um, that they are investing in, like a, a bullseye, you know. It's really what it is if you imagine being inside of a sphere and looking out. Um, or, or think of the celestial sphere, you know. They have their money invested in that constellation. There's 88 constellations all around us, um, you know, and investing in what like uh taurus or uh let's say aquarius as opposed to leo you know a lot of people have their money invested in aquarius i'm not sure where it's at right now but uh let's just say down that way it's not down that way Okay, you get the point. Point. That's all is you know needed. Doesn't have to be perfectly accurate. Down there, or um, let's see. Actually, right now there's up there and there's down there. Okay. And you know some people they have their money invested in like right now from Earth, um, Saturn is in one direction from out of the solar system and Jupiter is in the opposite direction. They're just on opposite sides of the sun. Um, right now. And if somebody were, you know, projected a course, you know, even if, even if the course, let's go back to that sphere and going out from the center, it's not just a curved path. You know, it can be a series, you know, it could even be a series of, uh, you know, that every time you move outward, you know, everything leads to getting out towards a certain point. Um, you could even plan a uh, slingshot maneuver around uh, the sun and every other planet. But ultimately, once you get outside of the effect the wells of the, the bodies in the solar system, 
Um, you're a straight shot. Voyager. Um, straight shot out. And, and, um, sorry, I can't remember the constellation um, from Earth that Voyager is headed to. <coughs> constellation or. <coughs> Excuse me. I haven't been drinking enough liquid since I woke up. That's dry. It's dry. Um, I need to smoke too much. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I mean, a constellation for us is a two-dimensional, you know, like holding a piece of paper up to the sky. Um, but, no. Constellations are not. Constellations are three-dimensional arrangements, and only from this position do they look like that, two-dimensionally. Um, constellations even change slightly from summer to winter, um, but not much. It's parallax. Um, but beyond that... Um, yeah, they're they're heading, they're heading out, they're heading out of the galaxy. They're heading towards other galaxies. And they're not heading. You know, they they probably won't make it out of the galaxy. Voyager won't. But it's possible. It's possible. It depends on on where you draw the line, um, especially after Andromeda comes. But we'll see. So, it's important, it's important to have predictions for the future. That's, that's what's been on my mind a lot lately. Um, and recognizing patterns. It's, it's, it's almost not so important to predict your own future as it is to predict the futures of everything else outside of you. Um... Other things, you know, like in, in my case, uh, two, two days ago, the dog, um, and, and I feel terrible that I can't remember the dog's name, but uh, I, don't, I don't like having a name, kind of, um, I guess it, make, it makes it easier to say, to address me, to get my attention, but um, I would not, I would be an animal without a name, you know, I would just keep my eye out for other people, and, you know, and uh, look for the eye contact. Um, but then, if somebody's just shouting, and you know, they're not—I don't know if they're shouting at me. Maybe the voice, you know, the, the amount of volume to just a larger number of people, or the distance, you know, the distance. Like if somebody was outside of the village, um, or outside of the uh, tribe, or outside of the uh, little pack, uh, far away. And they call them towards the back. I mean, obviously they're addressing everyone, any, anyone or everyone. Um, if they weren't specifically saying, Hey, Gerald. <laughs> you know, go that way so and cut off the zebra. <laughs> Whatever. Um, Some of these I should have talked about more than others, um, but it's it's difficult. It can be difficult. Just gotta keep dancing around it. Like I said, being able to predict something else, it's not so much me that I need to remember. It's the dream. So just coming at it from different angles and then pinpointing it and remembering uh, what it was about. But. Um, there was some other point that was really, it was important to stress, and it's just the, uh, the individuals. I know I, I kind of stressed that already, but the, uh, the value of the individuals who can react quicker, um, 
very fast people with very good reactions. I think that's why we value um, sports. Uh, people who can adapt quickly. Um, you know, like a continuous, a continuous thing. Um, being able to predict the, the future of another being. <coughs> Imagine. Um, fighting comes to mind. Wrestling. Just uh, true, like, street fighting. Um, just two people. Just doing anything they can to... To... Uh, not let the other person kill them. Or not die. Essentially. Or not be uh, forced into submission. Um, you, know, you just don't want to. That's when you're fighting. Um, what's more important? That you get the other person to submit? Or that you make sure that the other person doesn't allow you? Or doesn't get... Um, you know, you into a position like that. So, it, it may actually be more important to just uh, deflect the other person, to um, just counter them, not to attack them, but to be prepared for an incoming attack. And, you know, but then, you know, a lot of people have, uh, you know, told me, well, oh, I've, I've done so much karate that you wouldn't want to fuck with me. Stuff like that. Um, that, that is bad. Just, just saying that, because then, um, everybody could go around saying that. And that becomes, you know, I have a nuclear weapon. You know, don't, don't fuck with me. Or I'll detonate my nuclear weapon, or I'll drop my nuclear weapon on you, um, no matter where you are on the planet. Or I have thousands of nuclear weapons, and even if you and all your friends, you know, launch, you know, your one weapon against me, I can launch them all in the other direction. So, you don't go around um, waving your gun. Or, or do, I don't know. Maybe that's the way, uh... You know, like America's trying to push everybody in a certain direction. Is that direction we should go in? Um, I see science as a really good direction. Um, but science takes into account, you know, hey, we could be wrong. I want to be wrong because, you know, if it doesn't work, if it's not the truth, correct me. Correct me if I'm wrong. That's what I love about science. That's what we love about science. Correct me if I'm wrong. You know, I understand that that I could be wrong. You know, I don't I don't want to be wrong. Um, but it's okay to be wrong. You make a prediction. If you're wrong, that's fine. You know, uncertainty is not to be feared. It's just to be factored out. So, getting rid of, getting rid of the uncertainty of the future, um, and what will happen, you know, for the most part, things are pretty predictable, it's just a matter of uh, computing, and uh, there are so many factors to take in, um, you know, if we could take two snapshots of everything, you know, on earth, the locations of everything on the surface of the earth, um, or even just one, and and with that, be given the vectors. You may have a decent time, but you know, as soon as somebody change, you know, if somebody changes their mind, you know, is going down a hallway. Um, and they go to, you know, the president's office instead of, uh, instead of the vice president's office or something. Hmm. But, you know, that change of mind, that, that could have been predicted. I don't, I don't think that it, 
it could have, or couldn't have, it could have, everything could have been predicted. Um, and that's why it's important to get as many people um, with, with, with a good, you know, good odds, good solid math, um, communicating, especially from different parts of the world, kind of like politicians, you know. Um, politicians say, hey, you know, my people want this, but I understand everybody else in the world wants that. Um, so we need to come to an agreement, everybody else in the world, because my people, you know, don't want to make cars for a dollar an hour um, any longer. So you're going to have to pay us more money for your cars. Um, that's it. You know, that's, that's, they're just the middlemen. It just works its way up, you know, in this little pyramid over here, this little pyramid over here, there's some people at the tops of the pyramid, you know, there are mountain tops, if you want to do it, they're lighting their signal fires, you know, sending their messages, you know, about everything else that's happening down on their little mountain. Messages that are only intended for a country. You know. Like when somebody says we, and all they mean are people from the United States of America. saying we 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 <sighs> so so that's it don't want to go over an hour just wanted to try to capture some of this some of the thoughts. A lot of this has been just afterthoughts. The original thought, um, it, it had so much more value. I, like, I, if I would have just, if I would have made the video from the initial dream, I would have the same feeling of, uh, of accomplishment, of, you know, documenting something very important. And I feel like this is important, but I feel like, you know, I didn't, and it just this is not the first dream, but it's the best thing that I I could do in um, the present with the first dream. So just know that um, know the importance of communicating mathematically and probabilistically and. formulas don't always have to there there was the, the tricky part that all functions all paths they, they can go in different directions but when they're all averaged up they tend to become the truth but they get less and less accurate as time passes, the the average of all that starts, the average starts to veer off from what actually happens. But that's only because of some things turned out to be a little stronger. Those factors turned out to be a little stronger, and they pulled the present more and more and more towards the direction. And some people predicted that, and others uh, under, you know, they undervalued it. Some people overvalued it, maybe. Um, or if, if it actually happened, then they didn't overvalue it. Some of them, you know, other people thought that those people were overvaluing it, but it turns out that they actually had a correct value. Or some people did maybe actually overvalue it, but more people undervalued it as a, as a factor in the outcome of the future. So, yeah.
try to figure out you know the most important factors when it comes to the uh, the future and uh, where they're coming from you know just people wise could be people wise could be subject wise you know food food is always pretty important keeping life forms alive that are still dependent on food um, for their energy electricity or composition yeah children children need food to grow so. that's a big one 